Today, President Biden did eventually make it to Chicago. He gave a speech on what he is now calling Bidenomics, meaning our economy is failing. <laughs> and he claimed the economy is doing great, but the numbers, they tell a different story. Biden falsely claimed to have created over 13 million new jobs. The real number is less than 4 million. He bragged about 10 million new businesses, but left out the fact that there's 10 million open jobs that employers can't fill. And what about wages? When you account for inflation, well, they're up a mere 0.2 percent from last year. And as the Fed continue to raise rates to combat Biden's inflation, well, the cost of everything from mortgages, car loans, credit cards has spiked. No wonder many Americans now living almost 60 percent paycheck to paycheck. And the average American now owes over $54,000. How do you pay that back? Here with uh, is the host of Making Money on Fox Business, Charles Payne. How are you? Good to see you. Bidenomics. Yeah. What part of the economy is working? Because I, I can list the part that's not working. I tell you what's really revving up uh, the re repo man. The, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, they, can't, they can't hire enough. They really can't. They cannot hire enough. That's the fastest growing industry in this country. You know, here's the thing. President better Biden... not. I'm, I'm buying a Corvette. I've been waiting two years. <laughs> I heard years. about that. <laughs> Z06, and when I get it, it better not get repoed. Yeah, no, I got a feeling you'll be okay. It's just a gut feeling, a gut feeling. <laughs> you know the old political term, a chicken in every pot? Yeah. So someone in the Biden administration said, how about we give like 40 million chickens to every pot. <laughs> like, you know, like, the $1.9 trillion, if we pump that into the economy, we could just live off of that forever. Mm -hmm. But you know what? There's a funny thing about free money. It's not free. And Americans have learned that the hard way. So now we've been dealing with this massive inflation, the, the highest inflation in a generation, over 40 years. You've had... You've, a, a, a people in this country, half the people in this country never even knew anything about okay. that. If 60 percent of the population plus are, are living paycheck to paycheck, right. some people cashing in their pensions, great penalties, some people putting bare necessities on credit cards. I've lived paycheck to paycheck. It sucks. Uh, and then $54,000 in debt. Right. And then they're going to ask those people to pay off the student loans of people that voluntarily borrowed the money? Right. Yeah. I mean, you're going to tell, tell the folks who, uh, who have the highest unemployment make the least amount of money to pay people who have the lowest unemployment and make all the money uh, to pay their bills. It's nuts. By the way, it it's, not, it's not just... sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> that would chip away at it. <laughs> if you guys see the market up uh, like 200 way, points, that means we cut a deal. $1,100 <laughs> sneakers. They're beautiful, but wow. Well, you, when you pay that much for them, though, you take care of them. Yeah. <laughs> Not as They're much nice. anyway. I'm jealous. Well, you know what else they, they've done with this, though, is they've changed the, you know, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Oh. That's a very important key to why we're so successful. So when you tell people don't pay your rent for a couple of years, when you tell people don't pay your student loans for a couple of years, when you tell people don't work because I'll pay you twice as much to stay at home than to go to work, you start to erode the foundation of what made America great. Let me tell you what's sad. Getting up, I can't imagine for a working age American getting up every day and not having something to do. Yeah. You know what? We're all designed to serve other people in some capacity. And not to find your purpose is, is to me, one of the biggest shames of, of big government. You know, I agree 1,000%. Uh, I believe God has given us all an innate ability to excel at something. All right. And the life, in Journey's life, if we can go after that, it's a blessing. Amen. Appreciate yeah, it. You too, man. Well said, man.